the Rebel One, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in Castle Redux, in which we're playing as a Kingdom of New England, as you can see. We haven't really done too much. Um, I've just done a lot of focuses. It's February 24th, 1941, and right now we're deploying the Wasps. The birthplace of American feminism lies in Seneca, in upstate New York. We need to ensure that patriotic women can contribute to the war effort, just as their male counterparts. The WASP initiative, aimed at utilizing women in the Air Force, has already shown promise, and its full implementation will both serve as a vassal, oh, vassal, as a valuable asset to our thinly stretched forces, even though we're not at war yet. But I want to show you my soldiers once we are pretty much with the next focus, just because... We're, we're, we're like 100% ready to go, but a Liberty Ships Dock Project. With the war in Europe inevitable, and with Allentown's ambitions to execute the largest naval operation in the history of mankind, the dockyards of New England are working overtime to meet the increasing needs of the Alliance. To further boost their output, a centralized construction scheme has been created by the government to guide further expansion of these shipyards. Because right now, look at these divisions. They're all 39 uh, divisions, they're all 40 combo with. Like, I've just been sitting here doing nothing. Just waiting, doing focuses, so. At this point, I'm sick and tired of waiting, so we're going to go to war the car. We don't have... A war goal against the PS, the CSA. That is, well, I guess we are at war with them. Okay, that makes sense then. And for some reason, we're at war with Mexico. I'm not sure why, but I don't want to wait any longer. I really don't. Um, are you a TNO president, Mr. Strom? What, what type of name is Strom, anyways? I, I, I never understood. Like Strom, why is it Strom? But we'll see what happens. Just because they have a lot of divisions doesn't mean anything. Actually, how's this looking? Not too bad. Doctor Phil's here, having a good old time. Is that? Is that the Star Wars guy? Huh. Okay. Sure, why not? Let's go in. I don't want to wait. I, I, I'm i sick of waiting. I really am. Let's go in, boys. Let's go! 40 come with for the win. Let's go, 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 go. Beat the living crap out of them. I don't want to wait any longer. No one wants to wait. Waiting is for suckers. Actually, get down here and you can like, encircle these guys and just kill them all off. Here, help out. There you go. There you go. Cut them off. Nice. So, now, hopefully we'll do okay. We're going to need to raise the conscription level, but we're doing relatively okay. Bristol Bris Bisley is very nice, very nice. Like I said, we do have some comments to go through. Uh, it is 41, so let's get some uh, heavy ship poles. It'd be very good, very, very nice. Um, ooh, nothing right there, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Uh, better artillery. Oh, I'd like to switch it that around, but we just don't have enough, so we're just going to keep going in for now. Couch geez, we've lost 10,000 already. Armin falls ill, that's unfortunate. Wow, the cars lost a lot. Ooh, that is a lot of dudes, man. We lost already. But it is what it is. Cool. And we've got to fight the Reds as well, which is unfortunate, but whatever. You know, the Reds are... You know, they're red, so... The cards have done really great, but they're fighting Mexico's too, so... You, oh, yeah. Um, Germany's fighting a two-front war against, you know, the Russians. Oh, wow. It's looking really bad. I didn't even pay attention to what's going on over here, but it's looking really bad right now for these guys. So that's kind of okay with us. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. Look at that. Venice joined the Third International. Oh, no. They did. Socialist Republic. They must have been capitulated or something. Okay. Well then, what is wrong with... What the heck happened here? What? Why is this so bad? The Belgrade Pact. Oh, they, are, oh, they must be fighting. Okay, they're fighting like that. I'm just like, that looks really bad. Holy crap. Holy crap, Olas. We should do okay. I can't imagine these guys having that much of a stockpile. I'll be honest. They just cannot, right? Okay, I want you to be done doing that for now because I want to make sure you get some more uh, intelligence on these guys. Um, yeah, the American Civil War, it's just... I'm tired of waiting. I'm just really sick and tired of waiting. The southern portion should be easier to take out. We'll see. Cool. Help them out. Help them out. Help them out. Ooh, some doctors would be very nice. Uh, we're getting some of these other ships, but we can't really afford too much right now. Let's get some... Ooh. North Ampton class. It's not bad. This one's a heavy cruiser, so bye. Thank you. Come again. We definitely need more resources. Uh, get some better cast, huh? Yes, we do. Think. Uh, I was just trying to... Thank you. But trying to get, like get these guys to kill each other off a whole lot more, so... And it sort of worked, don't get me wrong, it sort of worked, so you guys can kind of hold. Alright, now we can hold. Hold the place, hold your place. Portable radios are nice. Passive defense is pretty good as well. But still. This is a huge but still. Because I want them to kill each other off more, 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 more. Let's go with Scavenger, because we could probably use more stuff, honestly. Fortress Buster would be nice, but that's okay. Uh, Agent Captured, no, Dr. Phil, no! Not Dr. Phil! No, 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 no. Oh, it's the CS. Oh. Uh, infiltration risk. Yes. Cool. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Grab the next one here, too. Because we're going to need them for carriers probably eventually, but that'll be all right. Yeah, we just got to be careful because we don't have any of this stuff cored yet, which sucks. But we'll see what happens. So that's a case. Can you guys actually just do, like, escorting missions here or something? Put you in half, maybe? Escort stuff, perhaps? We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe. We'll see. 
Um, yeah, these guys should be just weakening each other a lot more. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. But the next one we're going to do is what? Defensive in nature. Well, that's only for core territory, which we don't have any. Yankee Patriotism would be nice. We're all done with this stuff. New England's future. We could probably join the Entente, but meh, we'll see what happens. Uh, establish Air Defense Command. Our planes need air bases from which to train. While New England's rough terrain makes finding suitable sites difficult, several have been identified around West Point. We should begin construction at once. Sounds like a good idea. And just defend for now. That's the most important thing. Oh, hey, look at that. Die. Die for amusement. Over the river. Yes. A thousand times yes. Alright, not bad. Uh, Resource-wise, we are still lacking quite a bit of artillery, which is unfortunate. Un-unfortunate. There you go. So we got Well, actually, if you can just go over there, that'd be fine. Get to Charleston. Or Charlotte, not Charlotte. There you go. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Wow, they've lost a million. Nice. Word observers is very good for us. And we do have the army XP for it, so advanced fire bases, because we can. I'd love to get Cleveland, though. I'd love to have Cleveland. Yeah, the CSA is still making a comeback, which is unfortunate, but whatever. See what we can do. All right, they should be able to win there, right? That's mostly just militia, so we should do okay. Uh, close out of that one. Todd Bath Iron Shipping Corporation. With war on the European kind of inevitable. Oh, okay, we read this one. So three cities go by. We get one dockyard. That's okay. Eh, White Ruthenia is gone now, which is unfortunate for them. And now they're attacking us in Charlotte and such. Oh boy. Head on down, guys. Head on down. See what you can muster up. These guys are attacking us quite a bit. I do not want to see the Reds get any stronger, though. That's one of my uh, not greatest fears. I'm just a little nervous about that. So we'll see what happens. What do you guys see? Why did you abandon your post, you ding dongs? They look really bad over there, so that's good to see. But still. Ay, ay, ay. Ding dongs, man. I mean, they're attacking us. I mean, that's kind of okay-ish. They're not even moving into our lands. Let them kill each other off a little bit more. Mexico's doing pretty good against the PSA. I kind of wish these guys were just killing each other a little bit more, so. That's pretty much what I've been up to right now, so. Yeah. Hopefully, I mean... Like I said in the last episode, I don't really care for the American Civil War much at this point anymore. It's just, it just drags on for way too long. And they just keep raising conscription level. I mean, honestly, if you're in a state of total war, you should just... Why would the manpower? Of course, they're only on extensive conscription, but, like... Come on, man. Seriously? How, how, where's Mexico at? They're on volunteer only. Alright, well, they're not going to be volunteer only for, for long. That's nice to get concentrated industry. Let's grab some of that, too. More output is always welcome here. You should easily be able to win there, which is nice. You should easily be able to win right there. Easily, right? Especially with extra help. Yeah, we love extra help. It's always nice to have extra help from time to time. The Reds are pushing through, which I don't like, so we'll do this. We'll see. If they have air superiority, um, we're shooting down their planes. You come attack us, we shoot down your planes, so... I don't know, man. I mean, we could always improve our anti-air as well, but we'll see. I mean, they don't have a lot of supplies. That's really bad. Actually, really good for us, but don't get me wrong, but still. Oh, what's going on here? I would love to have... some capital ships, but we just don't have any... They abandoned the line? Let's go in, boys! Let's go in! Of course, the more we take, the less we resources we do have, so... Take Cleveland, baby. Oh, we've got it, baby. We've got it. Help them out. Help them out. We don't get any core territory, too, which sucks. We got 300,000 in the car. That's not bad. We lost 56,000, which sucks, but we got to keep an eye on manpower. All right. Uh, Self Reliance, ISAC equipment and stuff. Let's do destroy efforts. Ooh, naval research speed. Electric boat, which is not bad. I like that a lot. Or sal salmon class submarines. That's not bad either. Sub visibility goes down. Oh, I'm using destroyers more ish, so. Small ship manufacturer. Um, eh. I'm looking to see if there's anything really different here. Honestly, there's not really anything different. You get a bonus to this one or that one. Um. I think we'll go with... I don't mind either one, so let's go with the destroyer effort. Destroyers will be able to protect your convoys from both subs and aerial attacks. They are also cheap and quick to build. We should invest in destroyer construction at once. Why not? Cool. You should be able to win here, down here, right? And you should be able to win right here, too. Hopefully we get more resources this, this way as well. Greenville, please. Yes, thank you. Nice, we got him. Good. 
Dr. Felder of Detroit, thank you. Nice, concentrate, concentrate your attacks. Oh, the cards are... No, the CSA is pretty close to capitulate. We need to get Detroit, Chicago, and then be done, but... We'll have to wait definitely for that, so... Nice. Keep it up. We'll, we will have to raise the conscription level, but that's fine. And what are we building? Some civvies and roads. A lot of roads. Wow. That's a lot, a lot of roads. Um, any planes? Air bases? No, that's okay. Keep building some, some of that, then. Keep building. So it's good to build. Build like Bob the Builder. You guys go here, because you're going to go both going here. You'll be fine. You'll be A-okay. Man, they're looking so bad. What happened to the CSA, man? I guess they just haven't raised the conscription level, but still, man. That's so bad. Nice. You should be able to go in there, actually. I'll let you two go in there. Go in there, too. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, the PSA is coming back with a vengeance, which sucks, because we're actually, we're not we're not at war with them. So, actually, if we link up with the PSA, we'll be okay. Not with Mexico, though. So, I hope the PSA actually does really, really well. Uh, let's grab some of that, too, because you can. Go, go in there. Both of you go in there. After the destroy effort, we'll do cruiser effort. Cruisers are a sound investment for mid-range naval power like ourselves, and they will be a valuable asset to the overall Entente Navy as well. Sounds like a good idea. Go in there, too. Go in there, too. You're not going to beat us up here. Columbus will be ours, hopefully, eventually. Oh, do these guys get cut off? Maybe not. Hmm. Hang out for now. Because hopefully, we've taken more resources. Oh, yeah, we definitely probably have, actually. So, that's good. Shang-Chi Cleek has been annexed. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. There you go. Got plenty of de destroyers, which is fine, fine, fine. Oh, advanced heavy holes are very nice to have. Uh, let's go back up here and grab some of that first before we even try to make them. We do need some PP to keep an eye on our conscription level, but we'll see. Uh, I'd like to do a total mobilization, but we're going to wait. Chief of Air Force, strategic bombing, naval bombing. I think bomber attack would be better, but honestly, neither of this really works for us, so I'm going to save our PP for now. Yeah, we don't really need either one. No attrition here yet. We just need more manpower. More, just more stuff. Just more stuff in general. There you go. And there you go. There you go. Not bad. Cool. <clears throat> and slowly lose here. They are just just killing themselves on our line, which is great and all, but still, but still, go on. I don't want to wait any longer for that stuff. Not here, boys. No, no, no. Losses almost a hundred thousand versus sixty-one thousand Reds. None of the Mexicans and the four hundred thousand of those guys. Not bad overall. All right, do you want to do this? Well, we can play that game, you stupid American tankos. All right, I do want to attack Columbus. That might help with supplies, actually. I know we could do more you know, general force attack stuff, or, you know, uh, support attack, not force attack. But whatever. One of the comments was, why does Robert E. Lee look like Jake Paul? I don't know. I guess it just is what it is, you know? It is what it is. Robert E. Lee the fifth. Very cool. Another comment was, comment was that I should do Kennedy sometime. That'd be kind of cool, yeah. Totally. Go down the Kennedy route. The Kennedy dynasty, as some will say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you know what? You can help support the attack there, too. Already combo with is very, very nice. Another light cruiser? Yes, please. Don't mind if we do. Full on fuel. Great. Slow and methodical. Slow and methodical. Good, good, good. Um, you guys go in here. Attack the militia from several different sides. They're still attacking us. So, oh, we actually lost Columbus. That's not good. Can we actually win there then? 4v3, but we're 40 combo with, and they're obviously probably not going to be very strong. I want to get to Detroit and Chicago. That's all we need probably to capitulate them, because we already have New York City, you know. So that's very good. You send them in right now, because you can help destroy those tanks. Can we? Oh, they still have, they still have armor. We can't pierce. That sucks. Nope. Oh, we actually lost there? How did we lose there? It's over a river, man. Not bad. Over the river is very good for us. Now we're going to attack here because we should have enough support, right? All right, Roger Authority. Good luck with that. And we're going to go back there. And they're not going to do anything against us. Great. Yeah, these guys are definitely coming back in. It's nice. All right, you guys attacking us? Cool. Let them, let them attack us. We're fine. We're fine. Sure, why not? Get some more stuff in Ohio. Let's see. Oh, we actually lost there. That sucks. We'll give them time. They're still attacking now, so I'm not really too worried about that. Obviously, we could use more divisions. Does anyone else have upgrades? 
No, a couple comments. Let's see. Someone says New England is the best England. Yeah, I I totally agree with you there. New England is the best England. Absolutely, 100%. No one can change my mind. Why have old England when you can have New England? You really should be able to win there, guys. Come on. Yay! Another river to defend from. Oh, these guys are really cut off now. Keep going. Keep going, guys. Kill them off. Seriously, kill them off. No lake. I'm technically they could prob probably send boats through here to get supplies through here, but not no, no. Nice. Well, they just keep attacking until they all die, so. Nice. There you go. That's good to see. We like that. Kill them off. Kill them off. If the car could capitulate the CSA, I would love that so much. They're, they're, they're still advancing into Detroit. Did they not raise the conscription level? They have not. How are they not? I guess they have, but they still out of manpower. These guys are on all, all adult serve. And these guys are running out as well, which is nice to see, but still, man. So. That's why I just want the enemies to like, kill themselves off first. And then, they'll, like, you know, then we'll deal with them. So honestly, we've not lost that much manpower. Another comment was, uh, <laughs> this one. Uh, you become the very thing you swore to destroy. Yes, I know, monarchy is ugh, terrible monarchists. But, at least it's led by Washington. Uh-oh, Germany might have capitulated, maybe? Why is it lagging so badly? Did something happened to China? You he doesn't like this bad unless... Oh, yeah, it was China, look at that. There go the Chinese, bye-bye, Chinese. So sorry for your loss, but it is what it is in this campaign. So many more of them. Fuddy duddies. Uh, carrier fighter ones to twos. Carrier fighter naval bombers twos. Ones to twos. Nice. Anything else? Probably not. They're still attacking us. No, no, no. Oh, 75 millimeter. Yeah, that's artillery stuff. Yep, just kind of hanging out. I don't want to do too much damage to the car. Just because they're doing quite well against the CSA. Which is so weird to say. And it's, it's lagging so hard again because the Japanese are probably releasing another puppet. And another comment was, someone recommends I do a Pacific States of America run and get the Norton Restoration. Oh no, that's a French... Whoa! French National State, whoa. That is beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, can we have Austrian colonies? This is disgusting here. But the rest of this in Africa? Oh, oh, so good. Please. Can we do this in real life? Austrian Empire owns Africa. I love it so much. But Columbia, Jim of the Ocean. Our navy, while not the largest, is still a source of pride for New England. Our waters are secure, and our trade with the rest of the world flourishes. Sub research time, sub attack, sub defense, nice. We should get some subs. You know what? We're, we're going to do that. Eventually, once we get uh, some more guns, maybe? Um, carrier planes, uh, da -da -da armor. Oh, we need some of this armor, too. Yeah, we definitely need to get some armor. <clears throat> we don't need more war propaganda, which is good. Uh, Niger, please don't release these people. Liberia's looking nice and thick, though. Look at that thick Liberia. I like that. I need to play Liberia. I need to play as Africa in Kaiser Redux. I really do. No, Austria, please don't release these guys. It just makes it laggier. Don't give Africans freedom. They don't know what to do with it. Not yet. Operation African Freedom is never going to happen. Never. They're so close to Detroit. You have two tiles next to Detroit. De uh, 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 Chicago. Technically, you have one against Detroit, but still. Still. Oh, please. Take, take it. Take it. Please. Please capitulate them. Please, for the love of God, capitulate them. It's so much easier to take on the car than th the car and uh, the CSA. Oh, come on, man. Guards 100... How do they have so many boys? I didn't even give them anything. Like, seriously, like... I guess technically they were the... In this... For this campaign, the true American successor. Because they... I made Murray president, I believe? Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I, I did make him president, so... But still. Like, bro. Bro. So. I dare bet. Sabotage on the Bedford Army Airfield. Recent successes with the Corps has prompted many to question whether the planes should also be used to perform airdrops beyond enemy lines to supply the resistance cells with weapons and further equipment. Some have argued, however, that this deviates too far from the original peaceful mission of the Freedom Flyers and the extra equipment and manpower necessary for the operations might very well be spent somewhere else or blind to deploy the garrison. All right then, 41, 42, not bad over here. Get some more anti-air. We definitely could use some extra anti-air. They are just attacking all willy-nilly, like... They must be, like, forcing the attack or something. This is ridiculous. Please take to Chicago. I keep saying Detroit. No one likes Detroit. I don't think even people in Detroit like Detroit that much. And again, who am I? I don't go to the Detroit. Um, you guys keep going that way. 
somehow, some way here, we're going to take another tile, so. Don't weaken yourselves against us. Weaken these guys. Because the more time you spend with us, the, the stronger they get over there. So why are you attacking us? Attack them? You ding-dongs. We can deal with the reds. Why aren't you dealing with them? Yep, yeah, let's do the next one too. Um, self reliance. We can do Isaac equipment stuff. Purchase onset weaponry. No, self reliance. We are an American nation, not some Canadian puppet. And allowing ourselves to become too complacent in arms development by benefiting the Canadian expertise will become a problem should we one day be forced into combat with the rest of America and find ourselves technologically behind our northern allies. Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, look at that. Nice. You got freedom, but at what cost? Oh, my God, please. Please. Just kill the. I I don't want it to go. I don't don't want it to go over here. I really don't. You know what? I'm gonna do this. Just so we can save a little bit on artillery pieces because it's looking so bad, isn't it? It's just so bad. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you? Stop attacking me! Just attack the CSA. Okay, I ask, and they're probably receiving now. But stop attacking me! Seriously, like I'm fine with them attacking me. I don't care. We're gonna win regardless, probably. But still, um, air stuff. Uh, do we have tactical? What are we making here? We're making some tactical bombers, as well as cast. We actually have more cast than tactical bombers, so... Cast it up, baby. Cast it up. Don't waste your supplies on us, please. Please don't waste supplies on us. We're not worth wasting supplies on. We really are not. Nice. Columbia Gym in the Ocean. Self-reliance. Anything else here? Recruitment in North America? Nope. Followed up with what? Uh, the Warhawk Research f Fighter Tech Research Times, or P-24 Bomber. I think, I'll, if you want to read this one, please go right ahead, but I want to do the Warhawk. Designed as a single engine, a single seat, all metal fighter, and ground attack aircraft with the framework of the P-36 Hawk. The P-40 is not only more capable aircraft, but also quick man to manufacture and capable of firing in all terrains. Very good. Um, cool. It is 41. We could grab some more better tanks. Um, they are pushing through, so... Hey, we got the CSA done. That's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. Let me get some cryptology. I think from here on out, I'm going to do some funky stuff off screen to make sure we can like, kind of speed this up a little bit more because the CSA is going to die. I mean, they're so far pushed back. I think it's not really questionable that they will die, but we're going to do this one. And I'm going to do the Curtis XP-62 as well. As a successor to the P-40, the XP-62 by Curtis has been designed as a future of American fighter planes with a top speed of 448 miles per hour and eight 20mm cannon armaments and flying for freedom. Through the use of balloons, bombers, and even just your regular fighter, the Freedom Fight Flyers initiative has been tasked with flying deep over enemy territory to wage not physical but psychological war, hoping to galvanize resistance in the rest of America. And I will see you in just a little bit after I've done some other stuff to just speed up this war just a little bit more. Oh, all right, everyone. So now it's February 26, 1943, and I'll be honest. Like I said last video, I hate the American Civil War. Now it just New England needs a rework. But anyways, um, the PSA and the Mexican states actually killed. Well, no, the car and the P and the uh, Mexicans killed off the PSA, and the car actually killed off. Like I said earlier, like I helped push them kill off the CSA just because it's just taking too long. And then the PSA died. The CSA died. So then the car went to war with Mexico, and they killed them off. So. Yeah, we're struggling a little bit, but now I went back to war with Mexico because I'm, I just got sick and tired of waiting. I'm just, I'm sorry, like, I really don't like the American Civil War. It needs to get, maybe, I don't know, looked at again. That's, but that's probably just my opinion, but just, like, it's not fun. But Legation Council votes to restore our rights. The assembly of the powers of the Legation Council have seen, seen since, and I voted to restore our voting rights on the Council. We may now exert some more influence in the Far East, and we're a little closer to getting our power. Great! At long last, America has been reunited. We stretch once again from sea to shining sea. The chairs of the country have been destroyed, and the stars and stripes now fly proudly from the coast to coast, knowing that liberty is secured for all. At long last, I'd never understood why New England just could not reform the United States. I don't understand. That makes n literally no sense to me. Especially New England. New England, I know it's, it's like a different culture than like the Midwest and the South and the West Coast, but like, do they just want to give up on America? Apparently. So I don't agree with that, but hey, that's just me. Um, we look like America, but the problem with New England, you don't get cores on any place. Like, I get it. But at the same time, why would it... You, if you're, like, from the South, how could you, like, core, like, New England and not have it reciprocated? So, I don't understand. We're also at, like, service by requirement. I've been doing resistance suppression. I've already done this part of the tree, too. Long-range patrols. In cooperation with the armies of the Entente, it's become apparent that we should focus on small but powerful striking force capable of dealing a massive blow straight into the middle of the enemy territory instead of slowly pushing on an open front. Uh, do we have something else that unlocked or something? Uh, we got some other stuff unlocked. Uh, oh, yeah, it gives me this stuff, huh? Reclaim America. America full, America's rightfully ours. I think I read this one, so... Yeah, if you want to do that, please go ahead. 
Um, which one did just complete? Oh, reintegrate America. And now America is once again under our rule. Now it's time for healing and reintegration. America will accept our rule and be ruled directly from Boston. The bloodshed and war are gone, and now peace falls on our land. New England has secured America's birthright. Legitimate America is New England. And it's time for all Americans to accept the winners of the Civil War. So I really do not agree that New England cannot court other territories. Like, why is that not in the game? That literally makes no sense. If the PSA can core all the territories over time, such as even, like, Maine, if you take out Maine before we capitulate everyone else, why can the PSA core that, but New England can't core, like, Ohio? Literally makes no sense. But I'm not the devs. American Rebirth. The day is now, the decadent republics have fallen, and now America has been put under a responsible monarchy once more. Today is the day to celebrate. No longer will republicanism ruin the land that we love. Also, let's go through a couple more of these things here as we're going to take out Mexico, because I don't like Mexico, because Mexico went to war with us for literally no reason. I don't know why, but they're war with us. U.S. Marine Corps. Semper Fidelis means always loyal. The Marine Corps will always be a bastion of American liberty and democracy and help spread these freedoms around the world. We need to enlarge the Marine Corps and ensure that they're able to project our power across the globe. Even though we don't have Marines, but urban combat the training. In the alleyways of New York City and the avenues of Washington, D.C., with will the Civil War be fought? And our troops will need to be prepared to excel on these fronts, as this is no ordinary war, and no ordinary tactics will suffice if we wish to come out on top. Behind enemy lines. Just like John Brown. Will some patriots south to spread the word of the coming liberation? They'll inspire rebellions and turn people against tyrants that rule them. When time comes, they will help bring down the false government and establish the Underground Railway, which I did get like one or two events from these, but it really wasn't very much about the Underground Railway. If you are happy with the government to the south, just like your grandfathers did during the era of slavery, we will assist those persecuted by southern traitors in, the, in coming north to freedom. Which, okay, I mean, I'm fine with that, but like, then why don't you do the same thing with those people who are under red rule? Why don't you do the same thing with people who are under the west coast specific traitors rule, the republican rule? Like, it makes sense, but expand on it. <laughs> so, like, that's why I'm saying, like, New England needs a slight rework. I don't know. We'll see what happens. The devs don't like me, I think, but hey, we'll see what happens. Reorganize America. The last 200 years of governance in America has not been suited to monarchism in any way. The systems of laws being made for a republic will have to adapt to this, slowly replacing republican institutions with monarchist ones until every last stain of republicanism has been wiped off the face of America. Also, I did think, like, uh, I took, like, uh, well, how much? Rebuild New England. I don't think we need to do that. Um, rebel the steel belt. Let's do steel belt first. Uh, who do you... We took like 5 million couches. 4 to 5 million couches. We took like 3 quarters of a million. So, that was a lot of dead, but... Oh, well. It doesn't really matter to me. That's why I don't care. I really don't care. I just don't like the American Civil War anymore. It had its uses, but now I'm just like, eh. Eh. It's not great. So it can be tedious and very, very annoying. But, hey, look. Everything here... I'm glad we killed them all, because we got a lot of equipment now. Advanced light ship holes are good. Get some carriers well, because you can. Cool. We definitely need some more naval XP. And we, all we have are screens, because we can't make any capital ships, because we have no resources. I guess we got some resources now, but we still need a lot of this. Ooh, Russian Republic. West Indies, that's fine. Even though I, I, I don't want Canada. I want to kill, I want to murder Canada. Canada, you suck. Seriously. Alright, get some more divisions through here for more 40 combo widths. Thank you. Come again. Thank you. More destroyers. We are, we are just, we just need so many capital ships. But American Rebirth, reorganize America. American monarchy, shall we? We shall. Send in the army. Wow, look at that stability. That's pretty bad, not gonna lie. Let's send in the army, because we can. Alright, legation council, not bad, not bad. Keep killing them off. Because these guys... Oh, American monarchy. Because the Mexicans became a puppet of the car, but they died. For the entirety of America's existence, a lie has been taught in her schools. It was a fundamental misunderstanding, accidental or not, of George Washington. The lie that George Washington held no desire for monarchy and, in fact, did not want to even be president is false. We now know that Washington did, in fact, want to be a new American king and was thwarted by his fellow aristocrats who were jealous of his success. Regardless, all is right in America now. The Washington dynasty is taking its rightful place at the helm of New England and will guide the country into a new age of liberty and justice for all. No matter how much the rest of the, the world may ridicule us, the British taught us very well. All right, you want some Mexicans? We'll get some Mexican uh, guys. It's fine with us. Dr. Phil says hello to Mexico. Is that all we can send him? Oh, uh, alright, that sucks. But, whatever. Also, they're, they're just dead in Germany. Like, the Reich's back has fallen, and the uh, Third International is already trying to kill off the, Ro the Moscow Accord, so. Um, or whatever they call it, so. It is what it is. And the world's just a giant mess. Yeah, I don't envy Europe. I don't get involved in Europe. I just want to kill Canada, so. Also, yeah, we saw earlier that the NFA, the, that's a tag for the Nationals, French, died, so. Fine with us. After we reorganize America, establish a Kingdom of America. We have done it. We have restored sensible rule. 
to the U.S. Many of the disgusting Republicans have tried to stop us, but we have triumphed. Now America may truly take the legacy that was stolen by Jefferson and Adams. America can be great. America can be strong. And America can be free. No longer will there be weak Republican institutions to stop us. God bless America. But seriously, like, why doesn't New England get cores? It literally makes no sense. If the South can get cores on North Dakota, then why can't New England get cores on, what was it, Pennsylvania? Doesn't make any sense. I guess maybe they do get, yeah, no, it's only colony state, not even a core cell. Well, you'll see. Rocket artillery. Actually, I'm trying to go get some rocket artillery too. I think that'd be kind of a cool addition to have. Um, are we, ooh, are we missing that many guns for real? No, we have 86,000. Oh, Mexico's dead. Cool. So if that's the case. Drop it by 10 because we need more. Uh, drop it by five. Go up to 20 max. We got plenty of medium tanks, which is not bad. We'll see what we can do with these guys. Let's see. Armor. Let's go mediums. Meds. 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 Meds and meds and motorized. Thank you. Let's grab some artillery, some support rocket artillery, some engineers, get some logistics, and grab some armor companies. There you go. New Sons of Liberty, goodbye. Yeah, Molly's gun, goodbye. Oh, we got some more stuff here. Um, wow. That's a lot. I'll go and make that. That's fine. I don't mind making a few more destroyers. So I'll get rid of these two. Get rid of that one as well. Goodbye. Goodbye. One, two, three. One, two, three. These guys are still not very good to use, but I'm still going to use them since we still need them. So, yeah. There you go. More millies. That's not bad. We actually have more millies, huh? Go to three. Go to three. Go to 15. That's fine for now. Go up to two more and then grab on a lot more of that anti-air stuff. And grab some of that. Grab a lot of that as well. That'll be fine. There you go, right? That's good enough, right? Cool. Thanks. Come again. All right. Establish Kingdom of America because we can. What is this? Bay of Mexico? I honestly just want to eat them. I don't care. I really don't care. Mexico deserves to die. Just because they went to war. I, I, I literally don't remember. I think I actually left the game running by accident. Just letting things, like, go on. And then I came back and Mexico was at war with us. But it didn't really even matter since, like, obviously, like, they couldn't even touch us. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Train. All right. So, they're going to train. You can grab some more cruisers. That's fine for now. Cool. So, after establishing Kingdom of America. Fate of the Senate. It's not bad. I kind of like that. Governors into Dukes. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Stamp out Republicanism. I want to do this one first. Governors into Dukes. Despite the wealth and connections of our new noble houses, we don't have nearly enough royal titles to suit a true monarch estate. We gotta reform this. American nobles will be made out of anyone with enough power or money. Soon enough, titles will change, senators will become earls, governors will become dukes, and all those titles will be available for purchase. <sighs> Nothing changes in America. The more things change, the more things stay the same. You can always have enough money. Look at that. Now we're gonna get enough manpower. We're actually demobilizing. Look at that. Got sent in the army, George Wesley Griner Jr., and the Republican political system. It is what it is. Mm. Heavy battleship. Oh, God, that's so bad. Um, anything else we can change here? Yeah, that'd be fine. Anti sub stuff is good to get. There you go. Can you get that one? No, you cannot. God dang it. It's fine for now. Well, we'll see what happens. What is this? Fate of Mexico? Screw Mexico. After a long campaign across Mexico, we finally managed to shatter the Mexican defenses. Mexico City is now in our hands. What's the sound of future Mexico? To hell with Mexico. How dare you even do anything against us? So, sorry. No freedom for Mexicans here. Not this time. You're going to toil, toil, toil away in our, like, what? What do we call them? Like, camps? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Because I do not tolerate people just randomly declaring war on us, so. It is what it is. Nothing personal. But y'all did this to us, so. Nothing I can really do about it. Yeah, a lot of mil uh, a lot of factories now, which is kind of nice actually. A lot of things to build. Keep building more stuff, um, and keep building more roads. Getting more resources would be very good. We ran out of resources early on in New England. I guess New England is not doesn't naturally have a lot of resources. Like it's not like Texas or California with a lot of oil. Um, maybe Michigan's got a little bit of oil. There's some steel in Wisconsin. Looks like that's kind of nice. Cool. Was and some chromium and stuff like that in Nevada. Very awesome. Very 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 awesome actually. We're not even going to make that level of carrier because. 
it's going to cost us more stuff, so goodbye. Because we're going to, we're so close to the next level, we might as well just wait. Dreadnoughts? Not worth it. Um, advanced heavy ship poles are okay to make two. Nice. Oh, there you go. And what else? Concentrate industry? Yeah, why not? Sounds good to us. Duke's going to govern us, because we can. Because we can. Alright. Followed up with awarding titles? Why not? Now that we've converted the old government on monarchist lines, we can begin awarding war royal titles to whoever we can, and whoever will buy them. Wealthy men like Ford and Huss can buy into the noble class, and men who go above and beyond the Call of Duty will be rewarded with noble titles. Very nice. Since we're here, just keep building. Building is always nice. I think I'm going to feel like there's going to be one more episode in this campaign, because... I want to kill the Canadians. They try to exert the rule over us. No, 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 no. How dare they? Oh wait, Yucatan. Oh, we're still worthy, guys. Oh, that makes sense. Um, yeah, let's go here. Especially everyone's gonna go here and just like circle around. I forgot about these guys. That's my bad. Sure, why not? I get some more propaganda. Cool. Governance into dukes. Cause why not? How's your? Oh, actually, you know, let's take a look. How is the war going for World War Three? Um, I'm not sure which one win is this. Egyptian Ottoman War, Dona Ejibun, Entente, Cairo Pact. No, that's not this one. Japanese Communard War, Co Prosperity Sphere is fighting the Third International. All right. American Yucatan War. Well, nothing's really going on with that one. Japanese British War, Co Prosperity Sphere, no faction. Where is the Third International? All right. Um, Percy Order Federation, Egyptian Ottoman War, Dona Ejibun, Entente, Eastern Syndicates. People have lost a lot of manpower and such. Cairo... What war is this? Uh, seriously, why is the war not listed? Because these guys are killing off the Entente, right? Look at that, yeah. They don't have the war listed. Unless I missed something here. Japanese Communard. No. Egyptian Ottoman. I don't... Oh, oh, they're in the Entente. Okay, it's the Entente. It's actually just the Entente. Okay, I thought Canada was... Well, I don't like that. I really don't like that. That uh, Russia can just join the Entente if they just feel like. That just feels a little bit too gamey. Then again, this is Kaiser Wright and Kaiser Redux, so... I don't like that. But whatever. Who cares? Let them kill each other off. If I have to ally with the... Uh, Third International, kill off the monarchy there in the north, so be it. Did you guys win yet? Let's keep going. Keep going. And we'll zone with that one, which is nice. Uh, let's lower this. Don't want her at construction speed too much, right? Screw you guys. Help the Japanese out. Ah, eh, Sweden, why not? Nice, there you go, that's nice. Come on. My good god, you take so long to go! Jesus Christ! Oh my god, you're all pathetic. You're seriously all pathetic. Just, just go. Like, seriously, don't waste time. But governors into dukes. Awarding titles. Cool. Might as well take them out too, right? Might as well. So after awarding titles, what are we going to do next? Fate of the Senate, America, Atlanta Kings. That seems pretty cool. And we will need to do this stuff too up here. Like, uh, it's over. Oh god, what's all the way over here? New England Switcher, which we'll probably hit in the next episode. And which I'm just going to murder Canada. I hate Canada in this campaign. Just just a bunch of stuck-up elitists. Ah, we need our own elitists here, not these losers. Uh, fate of the Senate, though. Now that Washington is in our hands, we must decide the fate of the old Republican legislature. Should we dissolve it entirely? Or reform it into a new institution to serve America under the crown? Get more political power, recruitable population, stability, war effort, or support, I should say, encryption. Just five rule goes up by 6%. Exactly 6%, so that's all right. It works. Not great, but it works. I'm gonna do that. Because we're gonna need some radar to really kill off these goddamn Canadians. Cool. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna help either side. I really don't. Actually, I might help with these guys, though. Cause I, I'd rather see these guys be successful. But it's such a gigantic mess. Oh, Agent killed? Well, sending the Carther? No, I'm sorry, man. Why did it happen? Um, oh, they're doing Agent Boone so barely alive. Look at that. That sucks for those guys. Can you just go in, please? Just, just end them. For the love of God, please. Alright. 
better dreadnoughts, or just ships in general, fire three, anti-air four, uh, grab some secondary batteries, but the dual purpose are super good. Love me the dual purpose ones. Get some better anti-air for now, and get some, and you know what, actually grab secondary batteries too. There you go. Now that's nice. Uh, I don't know if we'll actually be able to make these, but we'll see, you know. Pull one, two, three, four. Nice. Um, cruiser holes, since we have no more naval XP, that sucks. We're going to improve those later later on, which is fine. Oh, the Spanish Republic did go to war with these guys, and I just realized uh, Portugal's gone. Alright. Since we're here, anyways. Uh, we're going to war with these guys anyways. You guys come down here instead. Did you guys not? How have you not won yet? Oh my god. Seriously, guys. Just go. You've got chubby little... Oh god. Chubby little legs. Chubby, chubby, chubbies. Just give me your chubbies. And you'll feel okay. Cool. Fade to the Senate. And I'll probably do... American House of Lords, to better oversee the people of America. The creation of another legislative body is due. A House of Lords styled like the British one will ensure that any laws created will be best serving the interests of the people. Not bad. You can tell on, go screw yourself. I don't know why you decided to attack us, but whatever. 30 days left, not bad. So now we're going to send everyone up here, and we'll attack them in the next episode. Uh, i just kill the Entente. That's probably my main goal. The Bush... Oh my gosh. Bush Honestly. Prescott Sheldon Bush is a man who's been a rising star in the New England under social ladder for years. He's a climber, a man with great business acumen as well as political acumen. When the Civil War broke out, Bush had only made a brief foray in politics, with much of his focus still being on business pursuits, however. Now that the rules around him has changed, so has Prescott Bush. Now, Bush is among those under consideration for ascension into a wider no British noble class. Will we allow this youthful but ambitious figure into the ranks of nobility? Yeah, why not? We'll take a Bush. Do we not have... Um... Is this core of ours? Oh, it's all cores, huh? Piat's nice. Here, do that one. I don't care about it. Um, an offer from Fred Trump. One of the most famous real estate businessmen in New England area is Fred Trump. Trump, basing his business out of New York City, is far as a place for himself in the region's elite class. A shrewd businessman, he was able to take advantage of Herbert Hoover's recovery programs. Re programs not meant for him, but... Uh, <clears throat> that would become useful nonetheless. When the Civil War broke out, Trump was able to flee the proper city proper and move north to New England, owing his quick escape in no small part to the money he has made in the real estate industry. The man is a prime candidate for an ennoblement, and extended in hand to, into a nobility. However, his history is somewhat controversial for some of the more liberally minded politicians. As a rest during a KKK rally, has made some questions whether he'd be loyal to New England or perhaps have interest in the constitutional American Republican instead. Nonetheless, the decision must be made. Yeah, sure, why not? Throw him in, why not? We could use money men here. Keep building, boys and girls. Keep building. At the end of the day, we're going to murder every single last Canadian we see. Them and the despicable monarchy. Gotta go. Just got to go. Got more ships, but no, no capital ships, which sucks. So after the fate of the Senate, we're going to definitely do a House American House of Lords, so... To better oversee the people of America, the creation of other legislative bodies do. A House of Lords style like the British one will ensure that everybody, or any laws created, will best serve the interests of the people. I might have already just read that one, but whatever. It is what it is. Cool. Thank you. Boards off. Oh. You look very familiar, Boris. Very familiar. Henry Ford, an Italian of American industry, has recently come under our control, and it's time to decide his fate. Ford made his fortune in the automobile industry, pioneering the Model T and various other innovative methods of assembly work. More relevant than these inventions recently, though, is a connection to the uh, Alafa Bell Murrah and the Constitutional American Republic. His status as a Southerner makes sense given his political views, but it seems that they also greatly value the man for his wealth and business skill. This is not just a fact that we should ignore. In fact, we should take careful note of just how valuable his wealth is to the Southern War effort. Perhaps Zayar Ford himself would be willing to pay vast sums of money to see him really safely. Oh, he goes hungry. However, doing so would uh, <clears throat> remove any leverage we have on our, over the faction if they were to win the war. So, shall we keep him and play the long game or temp seek temporary financial gain? Listen for a pro yeah, listen for a prize because he can't. Because why not? Yeah, make some more millies. We're gonna we're gonna really ramp up production. Yeah, as a lot of people did say, like, oh look at this, nice. Um, America, if you don't have the Civil War, is just very strong. But if you do have the Civil War, you're kind of weak. Um, you know what? I can get rid of recon maybe. I don't want to lower supply use. Anti air is really actually beneficial. Well, how is this stuff beneficial? Air attack is so good, but even without it, you still get some air attack. It's not much. You, get, you literally get none. Um, I don't want to change that out. Recon's not bad, but I'm going to get rid of it then. 
I want even more soft attack. Like, I want to beat the living crap out of our enemies. Um, are we out of this? No, actually, it's looking pretty good. It's actually looking pretty darn good, actually. So that's, that's nice. Alright, go up there. Uh, where are you? Oh, you are all up here, huh? Here, come down here. We gotta take these guys out, because we can. Beta the Senate. Very nice. Very, very nice. American House of Lords followed up with... Stamp out republicanism. Despite all odds, we've done it. We've secured America for a monarchy. And we've converted the failing republic system, or republican system, into an official monarchist one and killed off American republicanism once and for all. America prospers once more as our nation is triumphantly led into a brighter future by a monarch. Better consumer goods. What are the national spirits we have? Republican political system sucks. Uh, let's see. We have Republican resistance campaign, which sucks. We've got fruit to the open door, which is actually pretty good. We've still got quite a bit of PP as well. Um, New England Marines, it's fine. Uh, if we have to go down here, we can... Um, Fine. Uh, partial mobilization. We do get some political power back, but war propaganda. We don't really need to do that one either. Pacific Islands, Puerto Rico. Yeah, we'll get the Dominion of Alaska back someday. Someday. Oh, you're in North Dakota, huh? Cool. All right. Anything updated besides ships? Hopefully not. Oh, we're gonna need way more chromium. Wow. We we'll get streamlined line. We like that one. And just grab whatever civvies or things we can grab. Cool. And ship time. Ship, 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 ship. You guys suck. Get rid of you. Um, Cruiser 2s. Yeah, definitely go to Cruiser 3s. That's fine. Dual batteries. Armor 3. Radar 4. Uh, Anti-air 4. Rapid fire guns 4. Uh, rapid fire guns. Escort. Ooh. That's even better. Wait, is that? That's even better, yes. Um, rapid fire guns. That's good, cruiser. That's good. Are you kidding me, man? You probably wait and get it. It's gonna take a while, though. Man, I don't like Kaiser Redux because it just gets too laggy. It really does. It's just way too laggy for me. Ah, that ship's, those ships are good enough. That'll be fine. For Barcelona, goodbye Barcelona. Still yet to find a single goddamn capital ship. That sucks so much. But that's alright. Things happen. Look how laggy it is. That's why I just can't stand doing long campaigns of Kaiser Redux. I apologize if I, if I, if I said I'm roundy. It just is what it is. Um, let's see. Other comments. So, someone says we should get Kaiser Wilhelm, Texas and try that one. I got it was really close. I did Texas once. I was really close to the Wilhelm one, the Kaiser Wilhelm one, but my apologies about that, everybody, but the game was lagging literally for like five minutes, just so because Austria wanted it to die, so my apologies about that, that's why I hate puppets, that's why Kaiser Redux, I'm, sorry, I'm so sorry that I just, I'm rant here, just, it's so frustrating playing this mod sometimes, but thank God they're dead, now the game's going to lag even harder, because these guys are just going to get released, so, yeah, that's why I don't like playing Kaiser Redux a lot, um, but yeah, I didn't know Washington had quite a, yeah, that's really weird, the Washington great grandson was Robert E. Lee. Of course, it was an adopted son from Washington, George Washington, but still very cool. It's weird that we're trying to get, like, the House of Washington, even though he led against it, but I guess that was, you know, the fake fact that Washington did not want to be king, so it's very cool. As you saw, just Czechoslovakia has just popped out. It looks like, uh, did anyone else pop out? Serbia is looking really nice now. Romanian legionary kingdom? What is this? Um, I'm going to say Yugoslavia popped out next, or either Hungary. Oh, Hungary popped out next. Oh, that's a German government in exile in Austria. That's weird. Oh, and we have German Tunisia. German... Wait, German Tunisia? Why is it German Tunisia? Okay. Yeah, all right. And now Germany is... Ah, the German government in exile. Looking pretty thick down there. Looking pretty nice. Looking pretty darn nice, not gonna lie. Um, and the Slovenia, which I don't understand why they release it out or pop it out, but whatever, my friends. All right, let's go finish out... Snap out Republicanism, and I'm gonna finish this off screen... We'll demobilize the economy eventually, but Marcus Youth! Political ideals of the future are shaped by the youth. Killing off Republican ideals, young, will keep them down in the future. With that in mind, we can educate the children to show the failures of the old system and correct the lie that Washington was a Republican, and show how much America has prospered under the monarchy. Combating these lies and showing the truth to the youth will help the Republican flame burn out. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll finish this campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!